Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about file system voucher control in CISO.NET Windows form. So let's go to toolbox and here you can find the file system voucher. So about the uh, file system voucher, so monitor the files, changes, notification and raises event when directory or file change. So this is about file system voucher. So let's drag this one into the form. So here. So this is about all the properties of file system watcher. So if you want then here you can change the name or here this is mostly enable, enable raising event and this is a filter dot and here all generate member so it's true and include sub -directories. So I am going to make this one also true. So whatever I am going to do the changes in sub -directories. So this, this also gives some notification. And here have to uh, modify so it's uh, and notify filter so this is based on file name directory name. Now here have to let's uh, or take the uh, give the suitable path. Click on uh, triple dot here of to my path should be in desktop. So whatever I do changes on or desktop so creating file editing file so this must uh, this should be give some notification. So here after let's uh, go to the event part and here I am going to double click on changes. So this is uh, this occur. Occur when the file or directory change match the filter. So this is what changes here created occur when file or directory creation and here after deletion. So this is name. So I am going to uh, click on here or uh, file system watcher changes. So here first I am going to include to or uh, one namespace. So add here namespace using or system dot here name io. Now let's go inside or changes event and write message box dot here also method. So add here I'm going to print first or file. So this was changes. File changed. And here after let's give the placeholder. So first is for 0 and here after 1. So 0 placeholder for so let's take event. So is the object of a file system here JS. So E dot and here. So first event I'm going to uh, inside event I'm going to take full path. So about the full path, get the fully qualified or path or affected file or directory. So this I'm going to take and here after e dot. So next I'm going to take name. So get the name of affected file or directory. So this will give. So add zero place where well, that to or uh, give the value of full path and here uh, add one place that give the name and uh, here after and here after I forget to one more thing so add here a string dot format we need to pass add here a string and here after format and you have to bracket and one more bracket and you have to let's copy and next go to the form and you have to or create a double click there and you paste or that one so actually I'm going to do only changes at here or file so this is for created and epoch and here after next file or oh, here this is for deleted and here after next event so if you change anything or rename the file so this, this event generated and what were the contents inside so that or perform. 
So here, yeah, this is for VM. So this is the code, or one simplest code where I'm using file system watcher. So let's execute the code. So here, oh, this is the desktop. So I am going to create one folder. So see right here, the file created, and oh, this is in C. This is the path, and here this is the file name. Click OK. And if you want, if you are going to give name, changing the name. So right here, I am giving tab. So I am rename event file file renamed, and here. See user Adam, the name is tab. And here after if you're going to delete the file, so add here this is the pending file deleted. So delete event file. And if you're taking if you're going to take a text file, so here our file changed and file created. And here after if you are going to rename rename this file, so here I'm going to give active. So file rename and here if you are going to do any modification inside the file so this print file changed so here I'm going to print hi so this print first is file changed and our uh, file changed it's after two times so ft.txt so add a file changed file created so if you are going to create any file, so here you can or get this is a file created and next is file created file or changed. So if you are going to do modification, so that print file changed and file deleted. So if you are going to delete the file, so file. So right here, this is a shortcut here, link, so that here it's a printing file changed first and next file created. So first that changed. So here I'm going to delete this to folder. So I think it's a deleted. So delete event file. So this is the simplest use of a file system watcher. So this watch, whatever you do or uh, operation in the inside the desktop, so that watch and that gives suitable masses. So here next is uh, I open at here. Add here subdirectory. So I enable including subdirectory. So let's take one file and here file created. Now let's execute. Now here after let's go and here I'm going to create one new file text file. So live over here. This is the doc file. It's so created. Now here you get the message file changed. So changed in, in the sense in new folder. So the, the file is changed. So that here it's a printing and you have to inside to uh, change the new folder. And you have to one file created. The name is text document dot rtl. So it's a print. So this is a uh, printing because at here I in uh, I enable our uh, types of directory parts. So if you are going to do any modification like rename, so it's the so, uh, print file first file changed because change inside the new folder and here it's a renamed. So this is the uses of a file system watcher in this of dotnet Windows form. So if you are going to do any operation on the desktop, so this print or uh, master suitable master. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.